Are you confused about the differences between at mock, at mock bean, and mocky.mock? You're not alone. Many developers find themselves scratching their heads over these mocking techniques. Today, we're going to clarify these concepts and help you choose the right one for your testing needs. I totally get it. When you're knee-deep in testing, the last thing you want is to get bogged down by the nuances of mocking. It's a common hurdle, and understanding these differences can save you a lot of time and headaches. Let's dive into the specific question at hand. One user asked, what is the difference between mock, mock bean, and mockito.mock when creating tests and mocking dependencies? This is a great question and one that many developers encounter. To understand these differences, we need to look at each approach. At mock is used in unit tests to create mock objects, while mock bean is specifically for spring tests, allowing you to replace a bean in the application context. Mockaido.mock, on the other hand, is a more general purpose method for creating mocks. Let's break these down further and stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a quick tip on how to choose the right mocking approach for your specific testing scenario. First, let's discuss the at mock bean annotation. The user can use this annotation in spring tests to create a mock of a bean and inject it into the application context. This is particularly useful for integration tests. Next, we have the at mock annotation. The user can use this annotation from Mockito to create a mock object for unit tests. This mock is not automatically injected into the spring context. Now let's look at Mockito.mock. This method allows the user to create a mock instance of a class programmatically. It's useful when the user needs more control over the mock's lifecycle. In summary, the user should choose at mock bean for integration tests, at mock for unit tests, and mockito.mock for more control over mock instances. Each approach serves a different purpose in testing. Fun fact, did you know that mockito was named after the famous Italian coffee drink, macchiato? Just like a good coffee, it helps you stay alert and focused while coding. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. This user explains the differences between mockito.mock, at mock, and at mock bean. They note that mockito.mock creates a mock object for classes or interfaces, allowing you to stub return values and verify calls. You need to use when and then return methods for stubbing. They mention that mock is a shorthand for mock and is often preferred for its clarity. Both at mock and mockito.mock are functionally the same, but at mock provides clearer error messages. To enable Makito annotations, you can use Makito annotations.openmocks before test execution. Alternatively, you can annotate your test class with RunWith to use Makito Junit Runner. Finally, at mock bean is used in Spring applications to add mock objects to the application context, replacing existing beans or adding new ones if none exist. This is particularly useful for integration tests. Here's the tip I promised. When deciding which mocking approach to use, consider the context of your tests. If you're working with Spring, lean towards mock bean. For pure unit tests, at mock is your friend. And if you need flexibility, go with mockito.mock. And there you have it. Now you know the differences between at mock, at mock bean, and mockito.mock. Understanding these can make your testing process smoother and more efficient. If you found this video helpful, Please subscribe for more tips and tricks on testing and development.